myself, Dr. Shivanand Musti. I have completed my MS degree from Shivaj University, Kolhapur, and completed the PhD degree in material science from Shivaj University, Kolhapur in 2005. So, from 2009, uh, 1995 to till today, I am working in the Department of Physics, Dr. Lali College, Kadimilas, and have an experience of 20 years in the undergraduate level physics. During these times, we have developed new concepts in the physics. So what is physics? Physics, we already understand that it is a natural science, it is interesting, it is innovative also. But the students can understand the concept of the physics by reading the different types of the constructing simple types of demonstration experiments. So we have developed new concepts in the physics. We are interested the, in the development of the physics because as the regular lectures in the, uh, in the classes gives the boring lectures, the centered, uh, teacher centered classes and these are now we are modified to increase the, encourage the students and this encouragement of the students can be done by different ways. So I will tell you first of all the different types of the increment, how we have increased the uh, classes in the students and towards the increase of the in, uh, interest in the physics. So by doing some uh, presentation, by doing some experiment, we can understand the concept of physics. So I will tell you first of all the different types of the concept. One thing all these physics students knows that the, this is a simple pendulum. This is the one ball and this is the, the thread by which the simple pendulum is tied. And here by using a Newton's law we can say that this is a inertia. We can explain the Newton's law from this that is the inertia. So when we push it, we apply external force, then this pendulum is goes towards the extreme position. So by extreme position, what we have done, that external forces are applied and these external forces are stored in the uh, that is the simple pendulum and when it is stored then I release it then we, that is the external restoring forces are overcome and get, go towards the uh, mean position but we have observed that this that is the simple pendulum will not stand at the mean position but it will go to the other extreme position because of the momentum so students are excited when I will stand here and I will leave it but when I will leave it then it is observed that the, uh, that the pendulum goes to the other extreme position and comes towards me, but it has some distance. The lack of that the amplitude, some less of the amplitude, this is because of the air resistance. So students can understand how the air resistance is applied on it. Air resistance decreases the amplitude. And once again, we can explain the types of this, the, the different types of the pendulums as well as we can explain the terms like the time period, different types of the, that the amplitudes, then what are, how, which factors this pendulum that the affects the time period. So all these experiments that the concepts of the physics can be explained on the basis of this simple pendulum. So similarly, we can explain the different types of the another classes, the how the wave is nature, wave nature of the light. So now one can explain by considering one simple tank. So see how the wave is propagated and how they are the simple uh, that is the energy transmitted and how the particle vibrates in the that is the material particles. So we can take consider the only one simple example that one can put one stone here having some potential energy. When stone stone is pick up towards the certain height, then it has the potential energy. When it is released, then this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. This kinetic energy, when that is the fall, this the stone is fall at this point, then the particle at this point absorbs certain amount of kinetic energy from it, and it is observed that this point, that the use of energy, this particles that is not stay, stay at the same position, but it goes to the up, extreme position. But when it returns back, then at mean position, it gives the amount of energy to the other particle. So this is nothing but, they, but due to momentum, this particle goes to the other extreme position. That means here the particle vibrates in this direction but transfers the amount of energy to the other particle. When it absorbs the other particle energy, then again it particle vibrates but energy transfers to the other particle. Such type of that the vibrations 
of the particles gives transfer of energy. So this simple model can be explained on the basis of such type of the, the here model is here. This is a wave model, simple wave model. When these are the particles and only one thread is here, which gives the that be medium to the transfer of energy. So when one particle, if you vibrate this such type of vibration, when one particle vibrates, then this transfers the energy to the other particle. Other particles start vibrating. Then another particle starts vibrating. So vibration of particle is at the one simple position, but there is a transfer of energy. So these are, are the things we can explain by using a demo model of the experiment. So this is one simple demo. One can explain the other demo also by using a couple pendulum. This is one couple pendulum. So this is simple pendulum. So we have explained different types of the pendulums are there. So couple pendulum, we know that the main couple pendulum are the two pendulums and it is constructed by using the one thread. So when one pendulum is oscillating, what will happen say? One pendulum is oscillating, then it transfers the energy to the other particle, then other particle remains constant and other particle again that there is a transfer of energy. So this simple concept can be explained on the basis of this simple model that is called coupled pendulum. So such type of the different models we are uh, using in the lecture series and we are using to increase the interest of the physics. So this is also one model which that is it gives the, uh, that is the conservation of momentum. So there are different balls which that is we can explain how the conservation of momentum takes place. So we put one that is the ball, one pendulum and it oscillate then what will happen i will ask first the students and ask them to what will happen here see one one pendulum when rotate then simply the momentum transfer there is a momentum transfer then only one pendulum oscillates on the other side so this is one thing if i ask the students what will happen when two pendulums are rotated so these two pendulums are rotated they will observe that the other two pendulums, one pendulum remains at the same position, but other two pendulums rotate it. So such type of array, for interest, if we take three pendulums, then what will happen? See? These three pendulums are rotated, then they observe that these three pendulums, one pendulum remains the, towards the other side and other pendulum remains towards the other side. Okay, this is constant. Just stop. Demo experiment. So we have nearly about 350 demo experiments we have developed in our laboratory. These demo experiments are presented in the classrooms. So these experiments are very interesting. One that is the experiment I will show about the resonance. The resonance depends upon the materials. Resonance depends upon the size of the materials. So here the simple experiment I will show here. That is there are three types of the strips. One red, blue and white. Same strips are again that is the, uh, taken here, red, blue and that is the white. So when we vibrate one part that is the material here see, we will see observe the, it. It will absorb the amount of energy and resonance will take place at the same strip that is white strip. If I, that is the second strip is vibrated, what will happen see? Second strip is vibrated, the amount of frequency of this strip is absorbed by the same strip that is the, the blue color and when we observe that is the vibrate red color then it is observed that red color only vibrates red color strip only vibrates that means resonance absorption of natural frequency depends upon the size of the material so this can be explained on the basis of this simple model which will helps the students to understand what is resonance, what is the different types of the uh, materials on which that will depends upon the frequency. Then we have observed that there is the principle of the surface tension. So surface tension is based on the principle of that is known as the, the adhesive frequencies, uh, adhesive uh, that is the forces and cohesion forces. The two types of forces. Adhesive forces and cohesion forces can be understood by using a simple experiment. Here we have taken two glass plates. These are the two plain glass plates. When we put on it one another, then we can put pick up these two uh, that is the glass plates very easily. But when you put some amount of water, when you put some amount of water on it and 
here we put another glass plate here then we cannot detach these two glass plates because the adhesion forces will come into across and the, due to surface tension this these two cannot act that is the detach normally or perpendicular to it when you have to that is this dismantle or this detach by using tangential applying tangential force on it so this can be explained on the basis of this simple concept similarly in light experiments we have developed the different types of the images how images are formed how there the the rays are formed so there are different types of the there are the experiments we have developed nearly 56 experiments we have developed in our laboratory so one can explain by depends upon that the what type of concept we are going to explain so one thing i am explaining so when there are two glasses two that the mirrors these two are mirrors are put at different angles and these when angles are changes the amount that the number of images in this are changes see when you put the, these two that the glass that the mirrors perpendicular to each other there is only one image will be formed when angles are changed then you observe that the number of images are changed then students are asked to that the form different angles and asked to consider or asked to that the count the number of images and asked to consider that the form one that the uh, formula for it similarly one can construct this are one can arrange four only glasses in such a way that we can construct 11 type of images so these are the construction and one object is placed on it so that it, this gives rise to 11 images so that then we can explain the formula for the images number of images formation by using this simple experiment one can construct the different types of these that the mirrors so that we can show that the students the number of images formation changes with respect to that is the angles of the mirror so this is only one thing we are going to explain similarly we can explain by using two glass plates if two images that is the glass plates are two mirrors are perpendicularly put perpendicular to each other then it is observed that there are infinite number of images so if we see infinite number of images putting perpendicular to it then one can explain what is the formula for it so 360 divided by theta these are the number that is the formula for number of images so if theta is that is the 0 degree if theta is 180 degree one can calculate the number of images in it so this is the, that is the types of models we have developed similarly some students cannot understand what is electromagnetism so this is the electromagnetic force and one uh, that is the coil is put here inside and one that is the magnet is placed in uh, that is the outside then when the coil rotates then you observe that one can observe from the galvanometer that there is a deflection so this is that gives rise to explanation of electromagnet so electric lines of force magnetic lines of force are absorbed by this current coil and it transfers the current so that is we can explain by using such type of the electromagnet so there are number of that the demo experiments we have developed in the laboratory as well as we are asked to form groups in the that is the classes and they are asked to construct the hands on experiments by using homemade that is the materials and this is the concept that is known as the understanding by doing so we are asking the students to uh, that they construct new types of the demo experiments which can be that is the same from the uh, internet and different other sources and students are very interested to construct that they bring the materials they construct the different types of the demo experiment and very easily they explain in front of all students so this that is the understanding by doing this develops the nature different types of the natures that is the group discussion internet surfing and once again the explanation in front of the, 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 their colleagues and their friends so this is nothing but one type one we are introduced that is called as the understanding by doing similarly we have large number of that is the powerpoints so these powerpoints are used to explain in the, uh, the classrooms also we have large number of videos also are there from audio yes. there are large number of videos which can be explained that is the which are used to that is the take the uh, interest to increase the interest of the physics 
so the, these are the new concepts we have developed similarly we in, in, uh, in uh, laboratory we have used the concept that is called as the concept of carrying instruments to their home so this is a very new concept that is in that concept we are that is the providing the num some ex instruments to bring to carry to their homes this this concept what will happen this that the students carry the instruments like ornier caliper micrometer screw gauge and different other ex instruments are also in here in the laboratory those which can be carryable they are provided to them so these these students will not un without under pressure they do some experiments in their home similarly they are involving their family members they are involving these children from their surrounding homes and they are explaining how that instrument is useful for them how they are doing in the experiments and they are the building the concepts in the that is the in physics similarly student seminar in laboratory some of the students are asked to give seminar on particular chapter or particular uh, that is the uh, uh, experiments they are very easy eager so see one michael michelson mode uh, that is the experiments is there so that students can draw the different type of the ray diagrams and they are explain the the, the uh, how the formation of image how the that is the uh, uh, concepts how the principles work in that that the experiment so these are the new developments in the physics we are under the undertaking similarly students interaction with with motivation student motivation is more important so student motivation can be considered by interacting with them so as a tutor we are interacting with the each and every students and we are seeing the what are the problems of the students what are what is the that is the economic some times there are economical problems sometimes there are social problems we are interacting with them we sometimes visit to their uh, that is the villages we visit to their homes so and that is the uh, discuss the matters with the, with relating with the physics so this is one of the that the concept what uh, the students use uh, that the confidence in studying the physics similarly in uh, theory also we have uh, that the seminar student seminar in this uh, section the students uh, are asked to give seminars on different topics these are uh, the different concepts we have developed in last 20 years similarly okay besides all these things in physics development and in classroom development students care taking we are also interested in the other responsibilities at college level as well as at social level also at college level i am worked as a net coordinator nss program officer different types of works related with the nss program officer we have done it i have uh, i have uh, become a nss program officer for 8 years Similarly, NAP coordinator, it, which prepares the, the re-accreditations of our college, we have taken the, all the, the, the responsibilities. Similarly, now I am a member of IECOC, that is the Internal Quality Assurance Cell, and all different types of the committees are there, and one also working as a head in the Department of Physics. Similarly, in other activities like IAPT, that is Indian Association of Physics Teachers, I am a member at national level now i am working and representing maharashtra state now i am a life member of iipt from 1995 similarly we have the gcc iipt innovation center in our the laboratory in our college which is the first is innovation center in maharashtra and i am coordinator of this that is the gcc iipt innovation center we worked as different types of the uh, activities related to the IIT at regional level as well as sub regional level and national level so i am secretary at that the uh, sub regional level as well as the ec member at national uh, uh, at maharashtra level this is the related IIT now i am i am working also with the marathi regional corporation which is a ngo uh, which works for the population of physics in our region i am a life member uh, from 1992 and now i am working as a co convener of marathi indian corporation gadiblas so this uh, that the uh, association conducts no more than 20 programs and we are organizing these all programs and coordinating with the respective regional resource persons similarly ansadan nirmal samiti is another ngo 
which strategy works for the social worker and the, we are uh, i am also light member of this ansoda memorial samiti i am ec member of the region also similarly i am working for different programs projects programs and different villages we have taken camps for the to remove superstitions uh, from the villages this the programs related to the social programs so similarly we are organizing bal vidyan sammelan for more than two schools in each year where the different types of the that is the facilities of science exhibitions are we are taking similarly we i am the ec member of sayari adventure club sayari adventure club is a adventure camp a club which that is the organizes different types of the the uh, acti activities in jungle different jungles karnataka maharashtra gujarat goa similarly we have taken camps in andaman nicobar and jammu kashmir also so this act, that is the activity is i am uh, working with this that is the club similarly i am worked as a guest lecturer in different colleges different schools more than 30 lectures we are i am given uh, as a guest lecturer and my pro, that is the hypnotism program is a popular one i have done uh, that is the uh, stage programs uh, more than 100 stage programs i have uh, worked and now i am a hypnotist so all these besides all these activities the social working the classroom activities laboratory activities and all the responsibilities from the classroom i also constructed number of experiments in marco there are more than 100 experiments in the whole these the experiments are free to all the students sky watching programs when telescope i have purchased and put in my home so number of that is students from different schools visit to my home where in each sunday i explain how the how to watch the sky as well as how to observe the sky by using a telescope as well as they are provided with number of that the experiments the concepts of the experiment that the science can be understood by using a that the science, this the demo experiments okay thank you this is my presentation